up with y'all, man? Hey, check it, man. It's eight today, man. We back with another video. If it's the first time visiting the channel, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Make sure you turn that post notification bell on so you don't miss no upcoming bangers like this one, man. Hey, check it. Make sure you follow my Instagram, man. Underscore A Y E E D E Y D E Y. But look, you follow my IG. I'm gonna upcoming videos, no teas, no posts, no thumbnails, man. No, no, that man. You dig know what I'm saying, man? Yes, sir. So check it, man. Y'all seen the title? Y'all seen by the title? Y'all seen by that thumbnail today? Y'all already know we talking about, man. How to get comfortable carrying with one in the chamber, man? You dig know what I'm saying, man? Yes, sir. But I ain't got one in the chamber today, cause right now I knew I was making this video, so I took one out of the chamber for y'all, cause I ain't want to hit none of y'all little mouths. You dig know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I'm put that back in there, back in the holster, holster that thing back up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, cover that thing back up. We Gucci rock and roll right here the road with them Nike sweatpants on the feet. Ooh, yes, sir. But anyway, though, man, we're talking talk about today, man. So how to get comfortable carrying one chamber, man. Like I said, it's already clear. I took one out the chamber because I ain't want to hit some of y'all little miles. You dig know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, though, man, make sure you like the video. Share this with your girlfriend. Share this with your sister. Share this with your female cousin as long as it's over the age of 21. And yeah, cause I'm not uh, Kelly, and I don't fuck with that little little, little girl shit. That's not what I do. I'm not interested in that shit. But long as she over the age of 21, we good to go. You dig know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. Don't take it to offense. I joke a lot. If you did not know. But other than that, smash the like button and also smash the like button once again because y'all know we try to get the videos in the channel and the algorithm of YouTube so we can go worldwide and the nationwide. You dig know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But other than that, let's get right into this video, man. That they gang. You dig know what I'm saying, man? Let's get right into it, baby. So let's go, man. All right, gang, man. So, first thing we're gonna talk about is, man, it's getting kind of warm in this motherfucker. Get kind of happy, excited, turn the air on and shit. Hopefully, that's not too much for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make it cool off. Got these bright ass little airplane type lights in this. All right, anyway, we're gonna talk about shit But yeah, man, so, we're talking about how to get comfortable carrying one in the chamber, man. So, the first thing I should always say about this right here. Learn the firearm that you are carrying, all right? This is the firearm that I have on me today. It's my FN 509 Compact Tactical. See, y'all already know. FDE, y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all know. This will be low. I got the little toy around magazine in right now. I'm just want some chill shit. You know what I'm saying? Some hollows in there. But yeah, you know and learn your firearm, man. That's one thing. That's the part of the main thing you need to learn is your firearm, okay? Oh, that's the main thing. Learn the safeties. Learn how your firearm works. Build a relationship with your firearm. And just knowing your knowing your pistol, man. That's what it is about knowing your pistol, man. You know? It's about knowing your pistol. Another thing. I'm not going to put the magazine back in there. Get you a good poster this right here is a better poster by vetter all right light tuck by vetter holster get you a nice high quality holster man codex holster man you know if you got one in the chamber there's no way in hell that you're gonna be able to pull this trigger through this codex if you do you must be hog hogging or the, or or some some big old character on some strong man shit on some crazy non-normal type shit but you're not going to sit there and you know what i'm saying it's not going to pull all right, it's not gonna pull. You have no worries when you have a good holster, man. Get your Kydex holster. Put them leather ones down. You know what I'm saying? Get your Kydex one. It's molded, fit for your gun. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So y'all know what it is, man. Get you a great holster, man. All right. Another thing I do want to say to y'all, I'm gonna put the magazine back in there. But I'm not gonna rock one in the chamber. Nah. When you in your home, when you in your house, one thing I want y'all always do when you want to get used to carrying one in the chamber and get comfortable doing it. Rock one in the chamber, and then simply just walk around your house like this all day. Walk around your house, walk around, get used to rocking, rock one in the chamber. I'm not gonna do it today because of the, the video purposes and things like that. But if I was in my house, I walk around like this. Walk around one in the chamber, just walk, 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 move around, have it on you for hours, sit down with it. You know what I'm saying? Sit down with it and things like that. You know what I'm saying? That way, when you so when you out in public and things. You, your body, your mind is already getting used to having one in the chamber. And it's also getting your body and stuff used to having a, um, a firearm with you with the holster and everything loaded up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, where I see this right now, I'm carrying an appendix. I'm used to carrying an appendix. Got my sweatpants on, the Nike sweats on, chilling. You know what I'm saying? I know the Under Armour and Nike don't match, but I'm in my truck, I'm working, so it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so make sure you walk around your house with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get acclimated to your firearm and your holster, man. It's just like putting on your deodorant every day. You're used to doing it. You just can put it on, bop, 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 brushing your teeth, bop, 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 brush your teeth, wash your face. Do it every day, you get used to doing it, man. Trust me. Another thing, man, uh, I'm going to break this down to y'all, too. Yes, you hear all the time, firearms and things like that. Come on, baby, there you go. Firearms and things like that, uh, discharge and stuff like that. One thing about that is, man, honestly, these jokes don't just, just magically say, okay, the gun doesn't wake up and just say, like I said, it's nothing in here, no magazine. The gun doesn't wake up and say, okay, we're going to just pull this trigger today. We're going to just, the trigger is going to pull automatically. It's not going to do that, all right? No fucking gun in this world going to sit there and just shoot on its own. You know what I'm saying? 99% of the time, it's because of lack of knowing the firearm, places it be, safety in the house, kids get around it, people that don't know nothing about the firearm, mess with the firearm. But when you know your firearm, you are trained, and you properly learn the basics and the malfunctions of the firearm and shit like that, bro, it's not going to just shoot on its own. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all this just because it's not. Like, even when you're in the holster, it's not going to fire. It's not It's not going to fire. If you have a holster like this, a Kydex holster, and your gun shoots, you shoot. And it's, but you will be the first person they probably ever heard that a gun going off in a holster like that, ever. I never heard of it. Y'all ever heard of a comment down below? If you really heard of it, really calm down below. But most of y'all probably never heard it because I never heard about that shit either. But yeah, man, get you a good hosting, man. You know what I'm saying? But these joints don't just shoot on their own, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to physically pull this trigger back. Physically. You have to physically pull the trigger for it to shoot. Now, you know, guns going off. Like I said, guns going off in the house and things like that. It's because your kids get around them and things like that. Now, we're going to talk about that too. Your uh, girlfriends might pick up the gun or. Uh, People might, you might have somebody over. Want me to tell you how to stop all that? Get you a safe. Put it in a place where nobody can get to it. That's another way of doing this. Put it, put it, so nobody can get to it. You know what I'm saying? That's another way of defeating that right there of discharges or things like that. You know what I'm saying? Put it up. Lock it away when you're not home. Lock it away when you are home. If you sleep with it by your nightstand, get you a safe. I got biometric safes. Put your finger on the thing. Bloop, 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 bloop. Open up like James Bond. You know what I'm saying? You can get that too. If you don't got no kids, you can lay with it right there on your nightstand. Load it up. One in the chamber, ready to roll. If it's just on your wife, because your wife will know not to touch the gun, because it's loaded. You know what I'm saying? But if you got kids and everything like that, get your biometric safe. Put it right there. As soon as you hear a bump in the night, you ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Another way. You get used to this shit. Get, I'm not going to say shit. My bad, y'all. Get used to carrying one in the chamber. Keep your mind, like I said, the trigger is not gonna pull in the zone. It's trigger pull, it's weight to it. You gotta put weight to it for uh, trigger to pull, all right? When you doing this, when you doing this, when you draw and things like that, what, what's the main thing they always tell y'all? Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Until you're ready to pull that, pull, until you're ready for this thing to bang, bang, Keep the finger off the trigger, man. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So keep the finger off the trigger. You know what I'm saying? Even when you drawing, you know, no magazines inside. This is a prime example, right? Prime example. When you are drawing, you hunt. Boom. When you drawing, you don't just sit there and put your finger right on the trigger as you're coming up because you can accidentally pull that trigger and shoot yourself or shoot down or shoot your foot or shoot your leg off like Cheddar Bob did on 8 Mile. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Like I said, there's no magazine inside. So as you, you know, so another thing, as you're drawing, and that's why you're supposed to practice these things, go to the range and learn your firearms and learn these things and know how your trigger is and know how your, like, just your handle your firearm, man. It's about a relationship. You build a relationship with your girlfriend, but build a relationship with your gun. That's the main thing. You know how your girl wanted when y'all time to get in that bed, right? You know, oh uh, yeah, hit it like that, you know what I'm saying? Dip it down a little bit on that thing, hit it to the left a little bit, hit it to the right, make that thing juice juice out like a little motherfucking uh, water hose, right? Squirt out, boop, right? Exactly, so learn your firearm, learn what it likes, learn what it, how it's supposed to be used. The gun doesn't do itself, it's mechanical. It's basically what you press, what you do to the firearm is gonna go. As you, like I said, as you drawing, simply, you don't, keep your, you don't put your finger on the trigger as soon as, soon as you're drawing out, 
No, you don't do that. You drawing out, keep your finger off like that. And when you coming up, then once you see what you want to hit, then you put your finger on that trigger. Once you lock it down, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's the way. So like I said, man, walk around with the firearm, load it in your house. You got kids, you know, make sure your kids not around when you're doing this. You know what I'm saying? They want to play, put the gun up. You know what I'm saying? Do this when you got your own free time. Carrying one in the chamber is, in my opinion, I'm just gonna say in my opinion, is the best thing. Because there's a lot of situations where you cannot prepare yourself, where you're not gonna be able to rack that slide back when it's time to get down and dirty. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be like that. If somebody run up on you with a gun, you see your, your, uh, your peripheral vision, who's to say you're gonna have time to do this, do that, and turn? No, you know I only had that split second to do this, like this right here, and boom, like that, you know what I'm saying? Or you might have that split second to boom, like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you properly train yourself to do this right here, boom, 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 like that. That's already enough, because say if you mid-rack it, say if you half-rack it, it's about right there. We all know that ain't gonna rack another round in there. Right there's gonna rack another round in there, most likely. Rack around in that jump. You know what I'm saying? Train yourself. If you don't want to, if you still not comfortable carrying one in the chamber, train yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go to the reins, practice drawing. You know what I'm saying? Practice drawing and everything like that. Boom, two, two, boom. You know what I'm saying? Put it back in the holster. Boom, two, two, boom. Practice drawing if that's how you want to carry it. But like I said, man, that's the best way to get comfortable carrying uh, things like that, man. Like I said, y'all know me in my videos. I'm going to keep them always funny and entertaining, but I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. Get your good holster. This holster right here is light tuck, better holster, man. You know, uh, I would, you know, just get y'all good holster. You know what I'm saying? Get you something that's comfortable. Get you the perfect gun that fits for you, you only, that you are comfortable with, uh, drawing with, shooting with, walking with, running with, sitting down with, having on your waist, appendix, whatever, all day, side, whatever, all day. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to protect you and your family if anything come down to it. But like I said, though, man, that's it for this video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Make sure you turn that post notification bell on. Show me that I'm bangers. But other than that, they gang it, they get what I'm saying, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Yeah, they.